yeah, so if you're asking a question, what is your question? Sorry. Yes, so when, when you say, so you are going to India, it's a statement. Let me say. So, uh, yeah, I'll come to your question. <clears throat> uh, the branches, um, so all connected, yeah, all connected. And those people who are watching us online, welcome to Imdad Grammar, 5 to 6 p.m. session, which runs every day. And um, today's grammar session cover a lot of things. Yeah, but why can't I see here? No, no, it's okay. Okay, so Akshay has got a question for me to start with. Uh, so let's start with grammar session with Akshay's question. Yeah? So Akshay, can you repeat your question again so that uh, other people in other branches can also uh, be on the same page yeah, as, as us? What is your question? Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Go ahead. So can we use uh, you are in English at all? Like, so you are going to India, we will miss in grammar sessions. So can we use you are in uh, English at all? Like, okay. normally so, we use are you. So are we supposed to use you are? Okay, thank you. Uh, so his question is, uh, can we say if there are if there is a sentence which says, so you are going to India, should it be so you are going to India or should it be so are you going? A very interesting question to begin our session with. Um, so when we uh, make a statement, Akshay, uh, uh, we uh, don't use it as a question. Uh, we use subject auxiliary. Subject first, followed by auxiliary. So it's not a question you're asking. So when you say, oh, mm, so you're going to India. My, your mother told me mm, that you're going to India. So you're going to India. So you're not asking a question. You see the tone here? The tone is not a question. Uh, ah, so you're rich. Yeah, I came to know. Oh, so you're rich. You know, for example, you show me your net bank saver. I see like eight digits there. I start with like, wow. Oh, Akshay, you're so you're rich. So it's not a question. The problem with Desi English is we use the statement in a form of question. I mean, bar bar dekha. It's on our ads. Do you know when we post uh, ads in some Facebook posts about some um, something related to house, something related to a room you're posting in, or something whether you're asking something, um, and we make a tone out of it. So, for example, if I say, I told you, subject plus verb is a statement. So when you say, uh, you are smart, is it a question? It's not a question. And you say, you are, I am sincere. Is it a question? It's not a question. But how, how about if I say, am I sincere? This is a question, of course, because this is not subject plus verb agreement here. This is verb plus subject. Am I sincere? This is a question. I am sincere. This is a statement. I can swim. Is it a question? It's not a question. It's a statement. I'm making a statement. That, yeah, I, I, I can swim. Oh, so you can swim. Ab pata chala. Mm, so you can swim. And for example, if you ask, uh, ask someone and then he proves that he can swim. So you be like, wow, oh, so you can swim. Suppose you didn't expect someone someone could sing. And then later on, he sings. He sings so well. You be like, oh, so you can sing. It's not a question. But in India, we create confusion like this. You know why well, this is wrong? We say something like this. Uh, you can swim. This is like a tone. We change the tone to make it question. Although it's not a question, it's a statement. You can swim. But how do we say it in, in, in India, in subcontinent? How do you say? Oh, you can swim. Ulta, not just this. We add extra piece of information like na in the end. So you can swim na. There's no na in English. Yeah? So you can swim is a statement, not a question. Can you swim? This is the tone. Looks okay. This is a question. Can you swim? Tone. Can you run? Will you go there? Am I too ha harsh? Question. Yeah? Um, I say, uh, this is halal. The product, yeah? The product. So this is halal. But if you ask a question, oh, this is halal? No? Question mark? This is wrong. You can never say something like, is this halal? Or something like this. Uh, is this permissible? Something like this. Is it your camera? Is it your camera? Question. It is your camera? Wrong. It's not a question, it is a statement. Yeah. 
But in certain cases, you can say you can swim when you're surprised in this tone, the same tone. You can swim? Surprise, I'm surprised. Although it's a statement, it's not a question. I'm surprised, I'm showing surprise. Oh, you can swim. The tone is there. But this is not a question. This is when you feel surprised. Yeah? Uh, Donald Trump will come. Oh, he will come. When you're surprised. You didn't expect him to come, but you're surprised. Will he come? Same tone. But then it's a question. So something very important that you know. When you have subject and auxiliary, subject first followed by auxiliary, it's a statement. Yeah. When you have verb first and then subject, it's a question. Will he? Question or, a question or statement. Will he? It's a question. Can he? It's a question. Should he? It's a question. Would he? Might he? So something like this. Shall we? Question. Yeah. He, uh, we, we shall? A statement. So you have to understand the difference between the, between the two. So very important. And we have done this rule so many times beforehand. What is the difference between? So how would you say now? You tell me the, 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 the very question that you started with. You said that, that. Can we say? So you are going to India. So yes, you can say that if you are making a statement. I say, so are you going to India? That question. How easy is this? So this one is easy. So yeah, so we are going to cover some grammar rules and then hopefully sir will join us meanwhile um, with us. So we'll start um, with some important grammar rules today. And yeah, we'll start with some of, some of those um, grammar rules today. And very important uh, to, to begin with, um, uh, can somebody tell me what is the difference between L-O-S-E lose and L-O-O-S-E lose? So I have a sentence for you guys, and can you all uh, look at the sentence? And I'm going to write a sentence here. Tell me, guys, um, I've written a sentence here. Tell me what do you think about this sentence. The prisoner is on the loose, or is, prisoner is on the loose, according to the latest news. Tell me, what is the difference here? Now, first of all, let's clear out the pronunciation for both of them. So, when you say, when you use single O, later on you'll know, know a lot about it. So, single O, L-O-S-E, is loose, Z. And L W -O S E is loose. Loose. Not loose. Loose. Loose and lose. Lose, singular. Loose, double O. Okay. And the difference uh, between both of them, yeah. <clears throat> lose means lose, like harna, kona. Like win and lose. You lost the match. Lose, singular. Yeah? Singular. I lost the match. Oh, yeah, if you carry passport in your hand like this, you will lose it. Single O. If you invest money in a restaurant where you have no customers, you will lose the money. Single O. Yeah? If you keep on treating her like this, you will lose her. Single O. Yeah? If you keep on giving pauses in speaking section of PTE, you will lose speaking points. Single O. Yeah, but when you say something like this, the elastic is loose, double O, stretch, something you can stretch, loose, yeah, the elastic is loose, with something, loose change, kula pesa, not kula pesa in that sense, a lot of money, but kula change, like loose change, L double O S, yeah, loose dress, loose attire, yeah, loose t-shirt, uh, what about this sentence? The prisoner is on the loose or on the loose, according to the latest news? Who can tell me what is the answer here? 
Nah. Second one. What does it mean? On the loose is a collocation. Uh, when you say something, the prisoner, the inmate or the prisoner is on the loose, it actually means that he is running free. Is it clear? So here, it doesn't actually mean dhila. It doesn't actually mean khula. Or it actually doesn't mean that somebody has lost something. In this particular case scenario, it means that he is running free. He could do any crime. He's running free in the city like this. Oh, jail se bhaag gaya hai. He has escaped the prison and he is running free like any other person. He could commit crime anytime, any other crime. So he's on the loose. Police are finding him. Search party is after him. So the prisoner is on the loose. Konsa wala loose? L O S E. Not L O S E. Is it clear? So on the loose is a collocation which actually means somebody is running freely. A criminal is running. Really, it, can, it could not be just the criminal. It could be something like the elephant ran away from the circus and the wild animal is on the loose. Wild animal is on the loose. Honey, you can't control him. He's running free. He's running free. So on the loose is a collocation. Is it clear, guys? All right. Let's come to the next. Uh, the next sentence, I'm going to write it here, guys, everyone. Pay attention. <clears throat> Okay, tell me guys. Yeah, it's prisoner police ke bare mein hi are sentences, which is nice actually. We are uh, going through this. Oh, I love these thriller movies. Don't you enjoy thriller movies? How many of you? Yeah? Uh, thriller movies are beautiful. They actually keep you on the edge of your seat. Compared, of course, this is a different genre that you like, you know, romantic comedy movies, thriller movies. Thriller movies are amazing. I, I personally love thriller. Uh, crime thriller particularly, if it is a crime thriller. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. No. Okay, um, the police was called to the scene of the crime. <clears throat> okay, guys, uh, uh, go through this and uh, pick a mistake. Deep kaha te tum itne dinu se aaj? Aaj aaye ho. Been a while. I haven't seen you. Now, since Deep you are here, tell me what is the mistake here in this sentence. The police was called for the scene. Was called for the scene. The police was called at the scene of the crime. Wow. Okay. Um, just, 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 you tell me. What do you think about this sentence? Oh, I love this grammar rule. Hmm? The pronunciation? Not a pronunciation, uh, preposition. Preposition 2 should not be there. Should be the police was called the scene of the crime. Do you know what it means? If police ko naam diya gaya, scene of the crime. Modi was called the leader of the country. Am I saying police is called the scene of the crime? Mane police ko ek title diya gaya hai, you are the scene of the crime. It doesn't make sense. That's not the mistake. Mistake is somewhere else, guys. Crime or the crime? No, that's not the mistake. If I tell you the mistake, guys, you'll be surprised. You'll be like, wow, I never knew this. Okay, Jesse, you've got one more chance. Should be the? The police name? Now, first things first, you have to learn this. You never, ever, you never, ever say police without the. Always the, before police, yeah. But if you want to use it as a, if you want to say policeman, can say the policeman if you are referring to a particular policeman or if you are referring to any single policeman you will say a policeman a policeman or you can say the policeman if you are referring to a particular policeman uh, when you say um, uh, 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 there was a policeman standing on the road the policeman was very rude means you are referring to that particular policeman that was standing on the side of the road but here the mistake is not that the mistake is somewhere else so mistake is not this mistake is this 
How many of you are surprised here? Yeah. You did say that? I didn't know. Here, come, bola tum ne. Ma to dil bata tha. Did you? The police is always plural word. This is always a plural word, guys. Never ever make a mistake with this one. So although it looks like singular, but it's not singular, and that's where we end up making a lot of mistakes in our grammar. This is a common Desi mistake we do. So we never say the police was, the police is, we'll say the police were. Is it or the police are? The police are standing at the door, or the police were standing at the door. Yeah, just see. Yeah, I'll come to that. So, the police, always plural. Is it clear? But when you have a policeman, a policewoman, so how do you say Of course, is. A policeman, single police. A policeman is waiting outside. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the, the policeman. But can you ever say uh, a police? A police? A police? You can never say a police. A police is 100% wrong. So, police, what do you The. But it will be counted as a plural. So, what do you say? The police has investigated or the police have investigated? Bolo. The police has investigated or have investigated? Have investigated because have is used with a plural noun. Is it clear? So, never ever make a mistake with these guys. Never ever say the police is or never ever say the police has. It will all be, always be counted as a plural. I want all of you to write this sentence down on your notebooks too at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, auxiliary verb, there's a range of them. There's am, there's is, there's what, there's were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I, 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 in a, I, we use verb in a, uh, not all the time. So, not all the time. So, when you say I, I was. So, suppose you're talking about a past event. So, you'll say I was quiet, I was sitting, I was eating, I was helping. So in this case, you will use was. But when you use were, so that is when you're making a wish. If I were singer, are you a singer? You're not a singer. It's a wish. In this case scenario, you will use were with I. But normally, I case of were use nahi hota. So you'll say I was. Yeah. So something like if I were a millionaire, if it is a Wish. You're not a millionaire. You're not a millionaire. Or not. So it's a wish. That's the case when you use a word with I. So normally you don't use word with I. So you just you use it with wish. Thank you, guys. Now, do you know this rule? This is called. Yeah, this is called. Should have, must have rule. Okay. Somebody received a speeding fine or somebody received a fine for speeding. Can you see that? Somebody received a fine for speeding. Now I want you to write should have and must have in this sentence. After this sentence, I want you to write a sentence with should have, must have. Sami, why did he receive a fine for speeding? He must have he must have he must have driven he must have driven very fast or faster than the speed limit or he must have he must have been driving he must have been 
over speeding. He should have driven slowly. He should have been, he should, he should have been, he should have driven slowly. He should have driven under the speed limit. Now you're regretting. You didn't save any money. You didn't save any money. Now, in, in any emergency, you have to ask for help. You have to ask your friends or anyone for help. Should have guessed again. I should have saved some money for rainy days. You know, rainy day, both the rainy days, rainy days means bad times. Save money for your rainy days. Rainy days, this rainy day means bad time. You can have any picture of the place, reception. Ati ji, iske niche card rakh dena please. Thank you. Milte hai fir. Where was I? Rainy day. So, I didn't have any money. I didn't save any money. I'm kya bolenge? I should have saved some money for rainy day. I should have saved some money. How about must have? Who can say must have? You know what? He's regretting. You know what? He didn't save any money. Now he is asking for help. He always asks people for help. He must have been very careless. He must have been, he must have been, or he must have thought he would never be in any emergency. Angle to just emerge, must have, should have. These are two expressions you should be able to use in any circumstance. Zishan, you can Zishan was 85 kilos, now he's 75 kilos or 65 kilos. He must have, he must have exercised, he must have eaten a balanced diet. He must have taken, he must have eaten, he must have taken weight loss seriously. How should have? It's a good thing we can't use should have, yeah? Should have normally we use for bad things, yeah? For example, Zishan, now he was 65, now he's 75 kilos. Kabulenge, he must have eaten a lot of junk food. He must have eaten a lot of Sweets. Sweets and carbs. Like a shadi be jara this covered bade gavi. Abhi wait kya to mara? Yad rakna. Do month baad dekhenge tum kya? I got a feeling you will be 75. No? But you will be this time. Itna itna khana khao ki itna log aayenge. All the best session. Um, where was I? So now tell me again. Summit is defined now. I forgot your name. Akshay, what happened? Karo, should have karo. Summit received the fine for speeding, meaning he should have driven over the speed limit. Deep use karo must have. He must have driven slowly. Is fine, Aya? Driven fast. He must have driven over the speed limit, which is why he got the fine. Clear? Must have meaning something must have happened in the past. You're sure? Are you sure or, or are you doubtful? Sure. Okay, then let me tell you something. Now, you wake up in the morning and you see the soil is wet, the ground is wet, everything is wet. What do you guess? Must have rained last night. Must have rained last night. Got it? Now, rained. Now, suppose you're calling someone and he's not picking up the phone and you normally know he goes to bed at nine. So, what do you think? He must be sleeping. He must be because now he's sleeping. If you want to change the angle, he must have gone to bed already. He must have gone to bed already. So if you talk about something happening now, must be doing something. If you talk about something already happened, you say must have. But remember that the outcome has to be there. Outcome has to be there. What outcome is that? You're calling him and he's not picking up. And what outcome did you see after waking up in the morning? Everything is wet. So you assume that it must have rained. Not assume, actually you're sure. Because you are sleeping, if you are looking at everything wet, 
सारा दुनिया वेट है द ग्राउंड इज वेट ऑल द ट्रीज आर वेट डू यू एज्यूम और योर शो इज एनी अदर वे दैट एवरी थिंग सो बारिश इज द ऑनली वे सुनामी हो सकता है सुनामी हो सकता है तुम सो रहे थे इम्पॉसिबल है ना बारिश हो रही थी तुम सो रहे थे अंडरस्टैंडेबल और सुनामी में तुम सो सकते हो ऊपर चला जाओगे ऑटोमेटिकली सुनामी मीन डेंजर सुनामी वीडियो इन इंडोनेशिया but temporary how do you know you're going to live until 80 years do you no no but we still plan huh that's how life is we still plan when i'm going to be old i will have pota poti right <laughs> yeah grandchildren teen grand son char granddaughter How many children do you plan? Are you planning to have? No idea. I just assume. I mean, what, what do you want to see yourself five years from now? You want to be a father of father of only one son, one daughter, or three, four like me? You're laughing on me. No, 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 sir. I can't afford that. Can't afford that. Pesa dalal denge, bache. Inshallah, barkat hota na. But you don't want to be. A father like me, three, two max, one to two, yeah. What does your wife say? No idea. Yeah. We have a wife, right? You don't talk. <laughs> you will talk about this later, yeah, in future, inshallah. Okay. So yeah, do you guys in Punjab take few children these days, one to two or more, still more, like us, our country? I mean, do you plan to have only one or two kids? Two, not more than two. Hmm. Uh, I'm one of five, so I've got four other siblings. How about you? So you're one of three. You are one of three. One of four, one of five, like me. One of four. So one of three or one of two? One of two. One of two. One of two, one of two. क्या बात है? इतना plan करके बस चले थे लोग इंडिया में अच्छी बात. तीन दिन में इतना अब क्या बोलते हैं? तब population बढ़ गई होता. Not everyone follows that, right? Like China, China से कोई rule तो नहीं इंडिया में. Anyway, so next rule comes like this. Number four, we do number four. Oh wow, it's beautiful rule, guys. Now tell me which one is right. Number four. Four. His flight will arrive soon, soonly or shortly. Which one is right? Why not soon or soonly? Sunil is not a word. Are you sure? Smart boy. What's your name? Jesse is smart, isn't he? <laughs> Hello. You have never heard of Sunil anyway? Never in your life. How old are you? Your age is what? You are my age. What have you seen? What have you seen in the world? You're right. Soonly is no word. It should be either soon or shortly. Soon or both are grammatically right. So those of you who said shortly is right, you're wrong because soon is also right. Are you all right? My flight will arrive soon, or my flight will arrive shortly. They're both hundred percent right. They both mean the same thing. 
He will come here shortly. He will come here soon. They're both. Correct. Okay. Remember that. He was driving too fast, too fast. Find the mistake here. Should be so fast, they're not too fast, yeah? Is too fast wrong or so fast right? Too fast wrong? Right, yeah? Good, too fast. There is no mistake in too fast. But tell me, is it too fast or too fastly? You never say fastly? Are you sure? Close to, for example, I run slowly and you run fastly. Wow, I love this creativity. What's your name, what's your name you said? Akshay, so you're so creative. Too fast is very common. We'll talk about it later, but tell me that. Too fast is example. What made you think that that is right? Fastly is the same as soonly. You never say fastly. Fastly, fastly, what do you say? Urdu word, fast, la, fast, la, fast. Fast. Urdu word, like fast, la, fast, la. fast, la. fast, la means fast, 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 Good question. I love this question. Man, I was about to come there. Mm. He just scored today, Awakas. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy for him. Do you want to be in his shoes? I'll check his shoe size. <laughs> Some people don't even get the joke. He cares a man again. Bolke bolna bata hai. Iska joke ya meaning tha. Do you know what it means to be in someone's shoes? It's like you want to feel. You want to feel the same. Feel. You want to go through the same thing they are going through. You want to feel that you are in. You are them. If I say. I am also in your shoes, meaning I know what you're going through because I also have the same feeling. I'm also going through the same experience. Like, didn't I come, come here as a student, or my wife as a student, I was a spouse, the same as you guys? So am I not aware of the struggles and sufferings you go through? So I can say I was in your shoes only a while ago, only a few years ago. Does it mean I was wearing the same shoes as yours? No. This is a Muhavra Boltena, meaning collocation. <laughs> now, he was driving, oh, good question, Jesse. He was driving too fast, and so fast, there's a difference. If you say he was driving too fast, meaning now something happened, your tone is negative. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, very good. You shouldn't do that. Yes, what's your name? Asif, you're from? Which city? Good. Now, you shouldn't do that. You know what? You're eating too much. Meaning what? More than what you should. This one is looking too tired. Isn't it? Now think about it. Zishan is looking too tired. No, Zishan is too tired to walk. Meaning, he's so tired that he can't walk. But now you said, sir, two is negative and so is positive, suppose. That's what you were suppose, some of you were trying to say, yeah? Two negative in your name? Sushma, you from Nepal? Sorry, I'm sorry. Gusana karna. I asked her name a couple of times. She said, Sir, you asked me my you asked my name five uh, four times. Hmm? <laughs> Look, what happened? I asked her name five times. I asked name five times. I asked her name five times. I asked her name so, Sushma, I'm just, I know you're not upset. What do you look like, Nepalese? Do you see that? 
she's a she looks like exactly an apple our nipple you know pratima jamuna those girls do you have any nepalese background your dad mom grandpa no no one from nepal how does your mom look hmm haryanvi kya bolo tumne word kya use kiya kya baat hai hardcore haryanvi kya baat do you know nepalese girls are beautiful you know that jadi or you don't look at girls which girls do you find beautiful girls from your area uh, you, you're from P pune is it girls from pune or pune means maharashtra yeah which uh, which part of a girl i mean which city do you think uh, i mean do you think uh, i mean do you think pune girls are more beautiful than uh, delhi girls yeah you think so why right? because you didn't see the uh, delhi girls this is the boys perception that's how boys talk you know what girls in our area are beautiful because they have never been to any other area. <laughs> i was just joking girls don't mind please this is just a light talk with boys not with you guys. <laughs> so sushma i said sushma you said that too much is negative and so much is positive that's what i told remember i told you ask good memory is good but now you tell me if i say zishan is too tired to walk meaning He's so tired that he can't walk. Ultimately, I said he's so tired that he can't walk. Isn't it negative too? Are you eating too much? You're eating too much. Are you eating so much that I think you're going to die soon? Negative too. You see that? Ultimately, too much and so much. Too much is negative and so much is positive. No guarantee. But yes, there is a kintu here, and the kintu is you have to remember now. He is eating too much chocolate. Negative. He has he is saving too much money. Negative. He is saving so much money that. Sunnah Dhanse. He is saving so much money that he will never have to ask anyone for help. Look at the Tonya. He's saving so much money that he's going to turn into a greedy, rich, gatia fellow. See the tone? Two is always negative. So, could be positive or neg negative, depending on the end. Depending on the end. He's so... Zishan loves English language so much that... He can spend the whole day learning English. For the tone, Zishan loves English so much that he ignores everyone else around him. See the tone? That's what you have to understand. So, so much could be positive, could be negative. Too much or too many always negative. If I say you eat too, uh, Akshay, you eat too much chocolate, what does it mean? You shouldn't be eating this much. Your name? Pranay, if I say, um, suppose I ask you about something, you said this, this, and the, he, he gave me so much information, yeah? I think this is too much information. Meaning what? I don't need? I don't want that much. And if I told if, if it was positive, wow, it gave me so much information that I think I can write the assignment within half an hour. What's the tone? You gave me so much information that I'm. Thank you, Zisha. I think I will overwhelm. Atiya, it's such a word. How is it used? Atiya, what is it? What happened? Atiya is using overwhelming a word in this context. Me, meaning Atiya's English has improved a lot. Although whatever check I checked doesn't. <laughs> All right, Prane. If I say Prane, you gave me so much information that I'm feeling overwhelmed. Meaning. I'm lost. I don't know which one to take, which one to, which one not to take. Tone is negative. So could be both positive and negative. Two is always negative. So don't give me too much information, all right? Meaning what? I don't want so much. Sushma, 
your dad, suppose your dad is saying, Sushma, I think you've got too many friends. Meaning what? Get, get rid of some. <laughs> it's negative. And then if her mom says, oh, Sushma, I love the way you've got so many friends. You've got so many friends and you can share your issue, you know, share your feelings and emotions with them. In my days, I hardly had any friend. See the tone? I've got so many friends. So many here is positive because auntie, his, uh, her mom is positive. How about his, her dad? Her dad is saying, Sushma, you've got, so, you've got too many friends or negative. Let's make it negative with so many. Kaise? Sushma, I think you've got so many friends and uh, so many friends that you don't study at all. You spend the whole day with them. So many. Her mom is saying, you've got so many friends that makes me feel so good, so happy about you. In my days, I didn't have any friend at all. Our dad is saying, you've got so many friends that you don't have any time for yourself. Like my dad used to say. My dad used to say it to me. He used to, he doesn't like many friends. How can you live without friends, Ishan? I was like making friends everywhere I went. I saw someone for two minutes in the toilet. I made friends. Trust me, I'm not joking. I can make I, I made hundreds of friends wherever I went. I don't know why people felt so intimate with me. They started sharing their problems with me so quickly. And I felt privileged, Alhamdulillah, that wow, people like me. They and they think I'm one of them. And they trust me with their personal thing. This is very important. Do you share your problems? You don't. And do you find? I think you also. You also kind of. You also have something like me, yeah? because I also find you a little uh, intimate with people. You know, manipulating. Yeah. <laughs> Just joking. Now, Wakas ke bula lo bechara score kar gaye. Do minute baat karke chale jaye. Wakas one of my intimate students, and he is. He did his score. Pata Wakas ne score kya? Congrats him. Congratulated him on his success or for his success. Wakas bhai, wa alaikum aslam, aap ne to mene dil khush kar diya. Wakas bhai ko microphone de do, Wakas bhai do baat kare. Now before Wakas, Wakas bhai starts his thing, can I ask you guys, can I ask you guys, uh, uh, can I tell, because it's a grammar session, right? So let's add a little grammar in the, to this class. Now when we say, you know, in Facebook page, you will see this a lot. We, congr we congratulate Wakas for achieving this and this and that. Is it wrong or right? Okay, let's, guys, let's congratulate him for his success. Blah, blah, blah. Wrong or right? On his success. Very good, Jadim. On his success. Congratulate somebody on something, not for something. Is it clear? You blame somebody for something, yeah. But congratulate on. Remember that again. Okay? And write this down in the note as well. Yeah. Wakas bhai, up up the score bada pele. Overall 87. Um, 85 in listening. Yeah, 81 in listening. 81 listening. Uh, 90 speaking. 90 speaking. 88 reading. And 83 writing. Well done. One more time, guys. Akshay, don't be so boring. Learn how to say, how to how to give a speech. Don't you want to say the same thing, eh? Good. Because by dil mein jo hai, please bata do. I don't mind any language. It's guys, honestly, it gets. Urdu bola apne. Don't make sense, man. Okay. It gets really hard. Um, uh, main Sichan se se like contact mein tha. I would like to thank him because he's been a great mentor, and he's been been there for like every question I had in regards to. Uh, PT, I was really close last two attempts. I broke my phone as well. I was getting stuck at 78 twice. Before that, 75, all in reading. It's basically, you just have to keep going. Like, and the motivation comes from that, sir, post. Yeah, every morning you wake up, you see that post I have written, and you get the motivation that you can do it, you know. Like, last two attempts, I was like, okay, this is rigged. I don't want to do it anymore because... You know, I'm getting stopped for some reason. But yeah, and the last time I, I said it to Zishan sir as well, that when I came out of the exam room, 
this was the hardest exam I have given in my all attempts. And because and most of it didn't even come from the material, you know, like it was the few uh, reading paragraphs were there, but not everything. But yeah, like the material really helps the techniques we use. You will be able to know like how to crack it, but you have to just keep going. I would say like just keep focusing, keep practicing every day for like two two hours. Whatever you can do, you'll get like exhausted. You'll be like, I don't want to do it anymore. You'll get tired of it. Keep on giving attempts, and you actually get jealous from other people, honestly, who get results. And it, this is a good thing. This gives you more motivation that I want to do it as well. And like we've been here, like some people got it in less attempts on first attempts. Some people took heaps, like thirty or more. But yeah, Alhamdulillah. Thanks to Imdad sir. Thanks to Vishal sir. It's been it's been a like very good decision coming here. And finally, I got my score. So. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Akash Bhai. Thank you very much. But I would add something to these that, you know what? Um, uh, if you come to the class regularly and that helps you keep going, if you don't come regularly, you lose motivation. Stop going one day, two days, you don't feel like going anymore. You pray once and then keep praying, keep praying. You stop one prayer, you don't feel like praying the next. That's how it is. So attending classes, once you stop coming, and after that, you stop coming to this place. This place is dedicated to PT. We talk about PT, we live PT, we suck, we enjoy PT, we breathe PT in this classroom. And you guys are sitting somewhere else. Do you think you can study by yourself? In this country, just impossible. Unless you are one of those rare, maybe one out of 1,000 people who can dedicate yourself. Okay, I'm going to study. I'm going to go to the library and study for three, four hours. Impossible. In this country, it's so demanding. Even if you're free, your boss will call you and you will say, maybe I can do three, four hours shift. It's okay today. You will feel greedy to work as well. Just not possible. This is like your full-time job. I'll get my score and then I'll leave this place. Otherwise, motivation, recognize, country impossible. Dunya sab log aap time kaam busy hai, tum busy ho jaoge. Facebook, the terrible medium these days, terrible medium. As soon as you touch your phone, open your Facebook app, half an hour gone. You don't even know when it goes. <laughs> Sometimes even more. This is the place, I would say, again and again. Come here regularly. Inshallah, you will have the motivation going. Otherwise, fail karo ge, then you phone toh diya, pata nahi aur kya kya toh ra ho ge na na. That's what I'm saying. I know, well, that's what I'm trying to say. You have to be a philosopher, you have to be a philosopher. And honestly, if a class mein aao ge, you go through those paragraphs, you go through those blanks, those go through those discussions that like, if you do something wrong and the chancellor or when they discuss and tells you, oh, you fix it. And so that, that paragraph comes into your exam, he's gonna recall it. You guys gonna recall it for sure. And it happened with me heaps of times. So I'm just gonna just go in, keep this motivation, keep coming to classes. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, Wakas. Thank, thank you, man. All the best. Okay, sir. Allah, Asalaamu As Alaikum. So that's how it is, guys. So let's come regularly. Those of you who are only attending the grammar session online, this is a PT. PT is PT means private testing English. <laughs> Pearson test of English, which is not an English language test at all. It's a Bakwas test. If you rely on your English language skills to get your PT score, you are going to you're going to learn a lesson after failing in the first attempt. It's not English language, it's not an English language test. Yes, your English language will help you, but not as much as the tricks and tactics and the strategies, especially your memory, because you have to memorize a lot of questions. Okay, anyway, I think we are done here. Let's do this last grammar rule today. And rule number six, can you see that everyone, Dishan? 
नंबर सिक्स नहीं आ रहा है आई एम गोना जस्ट गोना पोस्ट नया नंबर सिक्स Now tell me if it's wrong or right. Her watch is far more expensive as mine. Suppose uh, Suruchi got a watch and her watch is more expensive. She got an Apple watch. I got a Fitbit watch. Fitbit is cheap, cheaper than Apple, yeah. Think I think depends. Yeah, Fitbit can be expensive model, have right? Because yeah. So we can say. Suruchi has got more expense. Her expensive. He's she's got a more expensive watch. Now, how can I say it? Her watch is far more expensive as mine. Can you see any wrong, any mistake here? Kya hoga? Wow, smart boy. Rene, well done. But you're wrong. Should be is more far is wrong here, right? Should be close. Close. Far is door. Close means pass. So far is wrong. So Jadip is saying her watch is more expensive as mine. Does anyone agree with it? Far expensive. No more. I love this beauty. Uh, Asif bhai. More expensive as mine. Like what you said. No. Uh, you said no. Uh, more. Uh, Sushma. It is correct. Suruchi. Dil kuch nahi bol raha hai. Ek age hota hai na age ke baad dil kuch nahi bolta. You agree? I agree too. But mera tis age mein bhi bhoat kuch bolta hai. Ideas aate rehte hai mera dimaag mein. I forgot your name, sorry. Lakshmi. Lakshmi, tell me the answer here. Which one is right? Is it right or you agree with them? Is it it's right? That's the safest answer, yeah? <laughs> so no, no explanation needed. Uh, your name, Vinay. Yeah, tell me the answer. What do you think? Is it right, or you have an you have an uh, far more than as far more than as far more than as than than as again? So you're saying her watch is far more than expensive as mine. You're saying her watch is far is wrong. Is it what you are saying or is it what he is saying? But you change your mind now? You see that if I wait five more minutes, trust me, everyone will have a different answer. And when I said this is wrong, find the mistake here, and you guys start to think it is wrong, but 100% right. No mistake. Any mistake here? I love this game, guys. Last game. This is the right answer, okay? <laughs> it is. Whenever you see more, whenever you see more, you have to use a comparative form, then. Whenever you see less, same, then. Jaydeep has more money than me. I have less money than him. Money more, less than is a must. More honey than, less honey than. More money than, less money than. More friends than, less friends than. Good? Yeah, you got one part right, yeah? Let's correct this part first. Her watch is more expensive than mine. Now let's, now to, tell me, far, now the question is far. So we, we found one mistake here, right? Now let's talk about far more. Have you ever heard of this? Oh, I'm far better today. I'm far better today. Yeah? Of course you have. In the movies, in the dramas, in English conversations. I'm feeling far better today. Oh, they have done far better this year. I think this has, this computer has far more value than that computer. So far better, far more, far less, 100% right. It just means the difference is a little big. Zishan has a far better salary. I shouldn't say that because you don't, yeah? 
बाकी टीचर्स पूछेंगे सर कितना कितना ज्यादा क्यों बोला आपने वट डज इट मीन हम उससे भी सीनियर है हमारा पे कितना है उससे भी अरिंदास पीटी वी आर नॉट दे आर नॉट अलाउड टू शेयर द सैलरी आई थिंक दिस इज अ नॉम ये यू डोंट टॉक अबाउट द सैलरी डू यू आई मीन विथ योर स्टाफ विथ योर कलीग्स आई मीन अरिंदास पीटी दे आर नॉट अलाउड टू टॉक इफ इफ दे टॉक अबाउट द सैलरी इट मींस दे ब्रोकन आवर ट्रस्ट दे शुडन्ट डू दैट इन इंडिया वी हैड अ स्टाफ आई टोल्ड हर स्पेसिफिकली You never. You're not allowed to talk about your salary. Next day, so the girl was talented, so I paid her a little more. But she wasn't supposed to say it to her older colleagues, whom I'm not paying as much as her, because they are not as talented as her. And next day, I got a message from the other employee, sir. Yeah, she is getting this much pay. I'm working this and that. I said, uh oh. That was not supposed to happen, and you know what we did? We got rid of her. The new staff. We got rid of the new staff. Two weeks' notice we gave. So, we don't do that. And let's talk about far more. Zishan has ten friends. Zaidi has only two friends. Zishan has far more friends th friends than Zaidi. Is it clear? Because not only. Just not just not just more difference. Be kafi zada hai. Zishan has saved one million dollars. Sushma has saved one hundred dollars. Oh, one hundred. Sorry, one hundred thousand dollars. मैं क्या बोल दिया? गुस्सा कर गया अभी. क्या बोलेंगे? उल्टा angle change कर दो. Sushma has saved far less money than Zishan. Zishan has saved far more or far greater amount of money than. Is it clear? Far just adds that the value is quite, quite a lot. The difference is quite big. I'm happier than yesterday. Meaning, yesterday my happiness was fifty. Today maybe fifty-five, fifty-four. Yeah, I'm far happier than yesterday. If it was fifty yesterday, today maybe seventy or eighty. Got my point? I know it's hard, hard to explain like this, but I think you got the point. Yeah, fifty, fifty-five, fifty, seventy, fifty-eight. कहा गया बंद क्यों हो गया लैपटॉप ये सो हर वॉच इज फार मोर एक्सपेंसिव एज मैन इज रॉन्ग आंसर इज फार मोर एक्सपेंसिव बोलो आई थिंक दिस क्लास एंड जिशान सो आई जस्ट इट सम स्नैक्स आई मीन स्नैक्स हंग्री मे स्टार्ट द क्लास ओके इफ आई डोंट कम डोंट वरी योर राइट कीप टेकिंग द क्लास स्टार्ट प्लेंग दिक्टेशन इमीडियटली थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक यू वेरी मच